Several student athletes are scrambling to figure out their futures. Good evening. I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Joshua. Today, Dalton State announced it will cut five athletic teams to save money. Hannah Lawrence joins us now to tell us which programs are out and why. Hannah. Josh and Latricia, these teams represented here on the end will no longer exist next year. Athletes whose programs were cut now have the option to finish their degree on scholarship at Dalton State or they can find somewhere else to transfer. Ryan Burke will never play on this court again. Today, she and her teammates were called into a meeting where administrators explained cuts to the athletic program. I just happen to be one of them. The college will get rid of four other teams as well, decisions athletes knew were being considered since last fall. It took us months, and I think the, the lead up to everything was the most disappointing part of the whole process. I apologize to the athletes, to their coaches, their families, and our fans that we have to take this difficult action. Dalton State will no longer have men's and women's tennis, men's cross country, women's volleyball, or cheerleading. There just was no other alternative. Pulled ourselves aside, had our own team meeting, and there was a bunch of tears, a lot of heartbreak. John Jodden says these programs were chosen because their travel is often dictated by the conference, which is expensive. So we took that into consideration and in looking at what we were going to leave ourselves with going forward. Burke transferred here last season from Reinhardt University. Luckily, they've agreed to take her back for her senior year. She says others are still looking at options. They want to play, they, they want to play, they want to do what they came here to do, what they got a scholarship to do. Cutting the five programs will save $600,000. The president says there will most likely still have to be a small increase in student fees next year. Josh. Hannah, thank you. The college will add women's track and field next year. The school's president says it's too early to talk about when they could bring back the other team.